Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. This video is a quick look at how to use the new patch manager that was recently added to RPCS3. While this feature is still a work in progress, it's in a very usable state and it's an awesome utility that makes it much easier to enable and disable patches without having to open up and edit your patch file. With this in mind, I do want to mention that your old or legacy patches will still work with RPCS3 just like they used to. However, most users will have no reason to keep their old patch file around because even though the legacy patches still work with RPCS3, they aren't compatible with the patch manager. So in order to use this feature, you will need to use the most up-to-date version of the patches. Lucky for you, there's a link in the description to a patch file which contains updated versions of all of the patches that are currently on the RPCS3 wiki, including patches for every version of Persona 5, so you no longer need to find your game's PPU hash in order to patch this game. At the time of making this video, patches must be updated manually if a new version is required, but there are plans to allow users to update and import new patches directly from within the user interface in a very similar manner to how CMU manages its graphics packs. Until then, you'll find the most up-to-date patch file in the description below, as well as on my Discord channel and the RPCS3 Discord channel, so feel free to join us over there and get subscribed over here. Once you've got the patch file, make sure that RPCS3 is updated to the latest version, then open up your RPCS3 directory. From here just go into the Patches folder, and paste the new patch.yml file into this directory. Once your patch file is in place, open up the emulator and head up to the Manage tab, then down to Game Patches to open up the Patch Manager. Here you should see a list of all of the patches contained within the new patch.yml file. These are separated out by game, although some of the patches which disable MLAA apply to multiple games, so a few of them are grouped together. These may get split up in the future, but for now you can use the search function at the top of the patch manager if you're having trouble finding a game. You can find any patch just by going down to a game, and then into the serial that applies to your copy. If you highlight a patch, you can see more information about it over on the right side of the patch manager, such as the PPU hash for the game it applies to, the version, and any warnings or additional information that you may need to know in order to use that patch. Enabling and disabling the patches is just as easy as you might think. To enable one, just check the box next to it, and to disable it, just uncheck the box. Once you're done, just hit the save button, and next time you boot your game, the patches you selected should be applied. Like I mentioned before, your old patch file will still work with RPCS3, although most users will have no reason to keep this one around anymore, as the new patch file contains updated versions of all of the legacy patches. I don't really recommend using both the old and new patch files, because that gives you two patches to manage in two different interfaces but if you do have a reason to use both patch files, it's very easy to do so. By default, legacy patches are enabled, and as long as this box is checked, your old patch file will still work like it always has. However, any patches enabled in the patch manager will also be loaded, and they'll take priority over legacy patches. So if you enable the same patch in both files, it will be the new version that's in the patch manager that gets loaded. The only way to disable legacy patches without modifying your old patch file is to uncheck the box at the top of the patch manager, so just keep this in mind if you're using both patch files. Again, the vast majority of users should disable the legacy patches or just get rid of their old patch file altogether, as it's only needed if you use patches that aren't on the RPCS3 wiki. So that should cover how to use the patch manager in its current state. Like I mentioned before, this is still a work in progress, so you can expect more updates to this feature as time goes on, such as the ability to import, update, and install patches from within the patch manager itself. But for now, this should get you up and running. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to get subscribed to see more, and feel free to join me over on Discord. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.